Good morning everybody. Thank you for joining me for this practical session of this morning's webinar. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Graham Anscombe and I'm the pre-sales technical specialist for the business systems team here at Epson. Today I'm going to be showing you what actually happens when you or your customer gets a, a matte version of the C6000 series label printer. So here I have a brand new and unopened uh, C6500 printer. Um, this is actually not the matte version in terms of the part number, uh, but it's important to note that the two printers, matte or gloss, are actually identical. It's only the inks that come with them that differentiate what is in the box. So I also have with me a matte cartridge, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate putting into the printer during the first switch on. Uh, and I will show you what messages you or your customer will see on the front panel and also what then happens if you were to put the incorrect cartridge in at the start compared to what you select on the, uh, the printer panel. Um, so without further ado, I will unbox this printer, we'll have a quick look at what you get in the box uh, and we'll move on to, to see what happens during power-up. Speak to you in a minute. So here we have our box and I'm literally just going to open it up and uh, go through the contents of the brand new C6000 series printer. Uh, I've scored the tape already. Uh, just need to move it slightly out of the way so it doesn't knock the camera. And flat sides. So what do we have inside here? Um, as with most printers that we uh, that we sell, um, we get a sample roll of label media. Um, the essential documents are in this pocket along with the USB cable. I'll take these out from one side so we can unload the printer. Uh, you get a power cable. Uh, inside here we have both a European and a uh, UK mains power cable. And then we obviously get the cartridges. So over on this side, we have a uh, black cartridge. Um, in this particular printer, this is the standard gloss black cartridge because this is a gloss printer. Uh, we weren't using that to start with. Um, and then over here, we also get our uh, cyan and yellow cartridges, which are standard in both printers, uh, and mag the uh, magenta cartridge, which also is, is um, common to both printers. Uh, and then all we have to do is remove the polystyrene packaging. And under there we have the printer itself. So I will get this out of the box and set it up on my bench over here uh, and then we'll look at what happens uh, when we turn it on for the first time. Okay, so here we have the printer now out of its box and I have removed all of the blue packaging tape and plastic inserts that come inside a new printer. Um, I've plugged the power in at the back, however I have not yet installed any ink cartridges in the uh, ink cartridge bays at all uh, because we want the printer to uh, ask us what sort of cartridges we're going to be using uh, to begin with. So. From this point, I'm going to zoom the camera in on the LCD display uh, and we will start the printer and see what the initial startup messages are. OK, so let's press the power button and see what happens. So Epson logo and initial startup begins. The first thing we are asked is what language do we want the uh, printer front panel to operate in. So we're just going to choose English. Do we want daylight saving time? Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much at the moment. Set the date and time. So we have to do all that. Uh, but it looks okay to me already. I'm just going to say okay to that. Time format, 12 hours, yeah, that's fine. I'll just leave it as it is. Okay, and so here is the important message that it's asking us. 
So select the ink type that you want to use. So this is a one time only menu that you will see when you first start a brand new C6000 series printer. So for this printer I want to use matte black ink and when I choose matte black ink this printer will remain a printer that uses matte black ink for essentially the rest of its life. Um, so it's important that we make the right choice at this stage. So I'm going to say yes to matte black ink. Matte black ink is selected. So I'm going to say done. Initialization starts. Install the ink cartridges for setup that came with this printer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the cyan, magenta and yellow cartridges as normal but then I'm going to put in the gloss black cartridge and just see what happens when I do that. I'll come back to you shortly when I've done so. Okay, so I've installed the magenta cartridge and on the other side the cyan and yellow cartridges. Now I have my two uh, different black cartridges here and I've written on them in pen which one is which so that we don't get these mixed up. You can see that the matte cartridge does have a slightly different part number um, uh, regardless. So we did tell the printer uh, that we want to use matte ink but I'm going to put the gloss cartridge in and uh, we'll see what happens when I do that. So in goes the cartridge and the doors are closed and then we will select installed if I just move the camera a little bit closer so we can see the message more clearly uh, and we'll choose the installed. So we get a message now the, ink, in the installed ink cartridge does not match the black ink type you selected so it won't allow me to proceed here if I press done it then asks us to reselect what type of ink we want to use in this printer. So if I had accidentally chosen matte black ink and I actually had a gloss version of the printer, I could at this stage remove the matte cartridge and install the gloss cartridge and then reselect gloss black ink. However, I don't want to do that. I do want this printer to use matte black ink. So I am going to select matte black ink again, matte black ink is selected and then I'm going to open the printer door I'll just move the camera back slightly uh, and I'm going to take out that gloss cartridge and I'm going to take my matte cartridge instead and install that into the printer And then if we return to the display once more, uh, I'm now going to tell it that the cartridges are installed. And we get a confirmation message saying the ink cartridge is installed correctly. Start the initialization question mark. The black ink type cannot be changed after the initialization. So this is your last chance. If you have got the wrong ink type installed and you do not want to progress with the initialization of the printer, at this point you select no. However, we are happy that this printer is going to be uh, a matte printer for use on matte materials uh, from this point onwards. So I'm going to choose yes and click OK. And at this point we get a message, do not open any covers, processing and we can hear the ink pumps starting to whir there as they uh, pump ink out of the cartridges and into the system. So at this point I'll leave the printer to finish initialising because that will take roughly 10 minutes or so uh, and then we'll come back and uh, just watch the printer print onto some matte material and see what the, uh, the print quality looks like. Okay, I'll speak to you in a short while. OK, so we rejoin the printer after 10 or 15 minutes or so of um, uh, initialising the system 
and we get this uh, final message telling us that initialization is complete. So if we just dismiss that message, uh, then we come to the normal uh, screen that uh, we should be familiar with on the printer, uh, where it's asking us to load paper. So I'm going to put some paper into the printer. Um, I'm going to use some of our own Epson branded uh, matte PP material, uh, or sorry, matte PE material, I should say. Um, and we will do a test print and see how the print comes out. OK, then, just to finish off, I'm just going to print a, a short run of labels of the type that you might typically be printing with a C6000 series printer using the matte ink cartridge. So here is a typical uh, chemical label with some GHS symbols on it, but it's a predominantly black design with black text um, and, uh, and red GHS symbols. Um, so that's us showing the process, really, of installing uh, a matte version of the C6000 series printer.